So first, well, let's talk about life insurance and retirement accounts. So these assets stay in your name while you are alive, but upon death, the beneficiary designations that you have listed will determine where those assets are transferred. So generally speaking, uh, you would list your trust as the beneficiary of those accounts. Now, when you created your estate plan, uh, there is a to-do list you would have received. It's usually in the front pocket of your binder uh, and it's in the form of a checklist. So that checklist is important to reference uh, when funding your trust because it has, of course, the name of the trust and it also has specifics. So while this discussion uh, and in these videos, I am generally discussing how to fund your, tr fund your trust, it's important to remember that each estate plan might have some unique facets to it uh, that are addressed in that checklist. So when you update your life insurance policy, you would go to your uh, employer, or if you own a life insurance policy that you purchased outside of employment, you would request a change of beneficiary form. Also for a retirement account, similarly, you would go to your employer uh, or, or whatever institution holds your employer's uh, retirement account, and you would update the beneficiary designation to include the trust. Uh, and similar to the life insurance if you purchased it from a third party, if you have a prior uh, employer where you took a retirement account, moved it into an IRA, you also would want to update those accounts as well.